Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are going to do a reading for Black Pink Rose and her future spouse. So let's do two cards each on each one, just random. I hope everyone's doing well today. If you want a chance to win a free reading worth $140, all for free, I have my community page in my on my channel that has all the details on how to win this. And I believe it's the second post there, so you can have a look at that and have a chance to win. I picked the winner on June 10th, so make sure that you put the secret phrase in the right video in order to win. It tells you what video as well and what the secret phrase is to put into the comment section of that video. So it's quite simple on how to win and I roll a dice and whatever number I get to, I choose either from the bottom, the top or the middle and I go how many numbers that I roll the dice for and that's how I choose my winner. So it's quite random and yeah, so I never know what it's going to be for the dice. So we're going to put two of the These are the after tarot, so these are what happens after these two cards that I have down already. And then we'll get a couple cards from each of the piles for your Sun, Moon, Rising, your Venus, your Jupiter, your Juno, your Pallas, your Fortune, and your North Node. Okay, and then we have Spirit's Advice here. I also have the cards here for the time cards. So I will be asking when the right moment for um, Black Pink Rose, when is the right time for her person to come in to meet her? Okay, so let's get started here with the sun sign and I swapped out my cards because <laughs> those little cards the through the eyes of the soul they're really hard to read for me I'm I'm getting up there in age I guess and it's <laughs> hard to see so let's see we have we're gonna do her and then her person so she may be learning new things schooling herself on certain things and her person's learning how to put boundaries in place here. It's coming out of some anxiety here and the five of swords. Now they all look like they've, they stopped fighting. <laughs> so somebody's won the competition. The rest are laying down or sitting down and there's only the one person standing. So she has won some type of competition or argument or some type of usually hostility arguments, conflicts or um, winning at all costs. So <laughs> let's see, we have flow. So she's in the flow and her person is embracing boundaries, it looks like. Wow, that's beautiful. So it's all about self. So these are the things. She's, she must have won uh, some type of victory to be in the flow, and she's learned something here. Maybe how to be in the flow or... Hmm, interesting. So, Rose, what do we have going on for you? And your person. So we'll do Rose, her person, the after tarot. Let's get two cards here. And they're combined energy. Right, we didn't do combined energy on this one here. Let's see. Protection. So they're both being protected at this time. So that's beautiful. And let's have a look at her. Okay, so. <laughs> 
Um, wanting to reconcile with somebody here. She is. Yeah, the Five of Swords in reverse. So this is all about regret or reconciliation. Wanting to work on something. Master some type of... Wow, there's a change here. New Moon Eclipse. So she's mastered something here. She was learning some things. So she may have learned some things about herself that has made her realize that maybe a reconciliation is best but yeah she's got an offer here something is imbalanced is balanced here and communication is the key and there is an offer here from a king of pentacles so she may just decide to to do that she's balancing the scales here with the justice card and that's libra energy this is doing the right thing or paying some karmic debts but i feel like it's more doing the right thing and bringing in an offer for her that's beautiful what's their combined energy balance Aha, we got balance from there balance spiritual and practicality so full moon and pisces so maybe somebody is a gemini pisces here um those two are showing up so let's get a look at Rose, her person, and we will get a couple cards here, one here, one here, and then their combined energy. So let's see, what did we get for Rose? Okay, so <laughs> she's got that <laughs> five of swords here. Um, winning at all costs, or there is some type of conflict but she might be seeing something here. Maybe something came to light. Let's see. The mirror reflect. This could be a twin flame. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me. So this is self-love. Okay. So she may be pouring into herself here. Let's see what her person's doing. Whoa. This person wants to take a leap of fool. Um, leap of fool. <laughs> A leap of faith with this empress which I feel could be her with uh, black pink rose here wanting to take that leap of faith with her um, but not wanting to be the fool uh, maybe holding back from doing so but there is an offer here so wanting to do that looks like they might just take that leap of faith to see how far down it is there could be a ledge right here where he drops down and it's fine to take that leap the cosmos ascend i connect to oneness and expand my awareness so he, this person may have awoken wow this is beautiful so what do we have for the two of them we have the awakener rise out of the ashes i rise like the golden sun <laughs> Number six, that's cooperation and harmony and restoration. We have stability here with the number four. And we have number nine, which is fruition. And fruition is funny that it comes up as the empress taking, taking a leap towards the empress here. And that's just amazing to me that that comes up. And this is what shows up here. Spirit has a way of <laughs> showing us the way. <clears throat> Let's see, what's the Jupiter here for her and her person? This is her future spouse that she may be looking at. There's her and her person and the after tarot. Let's just search here for that one and that one. And then we have the combined energy here. Let's look at what she gets for her cards. Ooh, okay. So she's trying to be patient here. She has a woman holding a coin, which is number six. So she has that stability, that cooperation, harmony, and wants to restore something here. She's trying to be patient here. And she may f be losing faith here. She is in the flow and she's got peace in her world. But the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, which is usually a family feuds or something's unstable in her immediate energy so something's going on maybe at home within her family friends group or someone close to her 
we have for them we have wow there's a lot of cooperation that could really build something here and this is building something together but there may be some illusion something surfacing could be internal conflict as well some insecurity or fear about doing this Ooh, there's envy here so there may be somebody that envies this between these two yeah somebody is envious about a partnership here with the number two that these two might work together I wonder what the illusion is let's get another card what's the envy about please spirit what's the envy about can I get another card for the envy for her person what's the envy from her person Sometimes um, there's competition between a couple and it should always be a team playing thing where it's you're not against each other, you're with together you're together with that person to have a common goal. And it's like you two against the world. It, it should be a team playing thing. There shouldn't be a competition against each other or any envy here. Let's see. Thinking woman and indecision. Okay. We have Ascended Masters here. Maybe needing to think about this. Her person. And may have to make a different... Hmm, there might be some type of decision that has to be made here with the number eight that's taking action here. And number six, that was restoring, or no, number 11, right? And that is Ascended Masters trying to alert somebody here of something, and which could be what this is. This could be somebody in there. I'm kind of getting that there might be somebody in their world that is thinking that they should make a different decision, that there's envy when it comes to Rose. Maybe trying to cause trouble between the two within their family or group of friends. Something along those lines. Oh, look at that. Door to value. These two could really make that ten of pentacles, I feel. Somebody's not liking this structure, stability, or manifestations that are coming in for these two. And with the four there, that structure, right? This may be something either one of them manifested here. Let's look at the love. Forgiving and learning. Okay. So that's interesting. That's on the bottom of the deck. And I don't usually go for those, but I did this time. And I want to shuffle so we have some card at the bottom that isn't what it was before. Wow, there's a lot of chemistry between these two. So let's look at her. Yeah, so she's quite happy and satisfied where she is at right now. Wow. So whatever she's manifested is coming into fruition, but she may need to release this person. There may be too much competition between the two, but however, there is some chemistry here. So let's look at what they've got. Well, they want to reconcile as well. They want to give that offer. They have romantic feelings towards her. So <laughs> let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. Reconciliation. <laughs> ah, I can't make it up. Wow, this is crazy. So there's so much chemistry between these two. This could be that runner chaser dynamic, the twin flame. So let's see what her person has for relationships with her. Let's get a couple whoa, different cards. I'm just going to shuffle them up a bit. Whoa, <laughs> karmic relationship and Phoenix came out, which Phoenix is all about <laughs> a new phase in this relationship. So there's things they've learned, though, because there's the learning card there. And I feel like somebody's awoken as well. And there's... May even been paid karmic debts here. So let's see here. For her, for Rose, and for her person. There we go. And then the bottom of the deck, we'll just 
give it a little shuffle again. There we go. Let's see what we get for her. Wow, something is a blessing here, and she's doing so well. Look at her. She's looking in her cup. She may have taken a cup from this person, and there's also a financial blessing behind it. Yeah, there may have been a separation between the two of them. Let's see here. Somebody's determined here. Oh, the lovers is, well, I don't read them in reverse for these after tarots. They're always in the upright. So she's very determined, self-assured, confident, fiery, and uh, there's love here. Sunglasses, they're watching, maybe not stalking, but could be watching closely of what's going on. This is a blessing that she's getting in here take by taking this cup after some separation. What do we have on the bottom of the deck? Ah, they're not showing their hand right now. They may not even be talking at this point. Let's see here. Yeah, not showing that, taking a risk, taking a chance. Wow, right on. Let's see what's influencing this union here. We whoa, we have whoa. <laughs> well, this is hers. It keeps flying around, so I may have gone from upright to well, I could have changed now, but it keeps flipping around. So we'll take it however it shows up here. Let's see. Let's get a card randomly. And then we'll see what we have on the bottom of the deck. Let's see for Rose. Okay, so she's already made a decision. And the Page of Wands may be having to walk away from somebody or somebody's wanting her to make a certain decision and maybe walk away from somebody. But the Page of Wands though, usually that's somebody that has enthusiasm and new opportunity and acts on chance. But this person doesn't look happy about this. Looks like they've walked away from an opportunity. Made a decision here. What is this? Orphaned. Uh-oh. Maybe walking away from somebody or they walked away from her. Somebody wants to plant seeds. Oh, boy. So somebody got caught in the act of doing something. Oh, boy. And their ascended masters said, play by the book. But by the rules and I feel like this didn't happen here wanting to plant seeds but caught got caught doing something what did they get caught doing what is this seven of swords here what did they get caught in the act with what was they caught in the act about what did our person get caught in the act about let's see let's pull one out oh I got a two for here and now and chopping wood. So there was some work that needed to be done. Um, maybe not being cooperative or having harmony here. And then we have five as change, five and six. So there might be something that needed work still. So there was a change here with the number five and that's usually instability or conflict here. So there was some kind of conflict between the two. What's the combined energy? Go the distance. Hmm. Now, is that alone or not? That's the thing. Let's put that between the two and let's see what else we can get. What is the combined energy here with the influencing here? It's spirits obviously influencing this. Ooh, truth must be told to the feminine. Wow, okay, <laughs> for this to go the distance. Okay, well that tells us a lot right there and time for a nap. So she may have to wait <clears throat> for this person to come in right and tell the truth. Uh, got caught doing something in the act. Okay, so let's look at her fortune and their per her person's fortune. So there may have been a separation here and it looks like this is a blessing for reconciliation, but somebody maybe needed um, to be maybe influenced by somebody to do something and got caught doing it. And I feel like this 
may not be coming in for her yet because this person needed to do something right here and they got caught doing something. Now, whether this is after they reconcile or before they reconcile, um, we can see about that with these cards here. Let's, let's put this down for a minute and let's ask, when is the right moment for this? Is this after reconciliation? Is this after the reconciliation? When, when did this happen? When, let's ask, when did this happen for Rose? Let's see what we have here. Okay. It is going well now. So it looks like um, this already happened. This was an influence from before when they separated because now somebody's maybe told the truth, did the work. They've ascended here, right? They, they're they doing the work by being awoken. So now this time around with reconciliation, it looks like they've already learned this. Now they need, they've told the truth um, to the masculine for this to go the distance. So I feel like she already took that nap then. So all is going well now. So within 12 days to 12 weeks, that happened. So let's put those down and go on to the fortune, the wealth. Whoa. Okay, that's her card. And let's see here. And for her spouse, do we get a card? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> and I only read the oracles in the upright anyway. And we got the combined energy. Let's give that a shuffle. All right, let's see what's going on for her. Oh, she has the King of Wands. Wow, they're planning their future from this. And somebody may need some sobriety here. So that should, could be her, that could be him. It could be as simple as letting go, um, not trying to control the situation. May need work for the sobriety. It might be some type of addiction or um, something that she's doing that she needs to let go of. Let's look here. Yeah, somebody feels like a wounded warrior. And the Seven of Wands. Wow, okay. Okay, so this this is something that happened that's against all odds. This is a position of um a position of um <laughs> what was I gonna say? Of advantage so maybe coming in as the wounded warrior somebody might be changing their mind here so mm, changing your mind having that advantage by acting like the wounded warrior when it was this person that did the wrong thing here her person did so let's see what's going on here Wow, there's a windfall here. Okay, so this person ends up getting money. So let's see here. What's the position of advantage about then? <clears throat> what is the changing of the mind? Moving. Oh, okay. What's changing of the mind with the moving? Why moving? That one wants to come. Oh, there might be some parental care that needs to happen here. Maybe moving closer to mom and dad. Is there a change of the mind? What's changing the mind here? What's changing the mind for her person? What's changing the mind of her person here? Heavenly signs. Oh. Getting some rest. Maybe trying to do too much because of trying to look after mom and dad, moving. A lot of things are going on here. What was the other ones that we had here? Moving and a windfall. So maybe doing some things to have, maybe moving the parents closer to where she is putting their money together or something along those lines with the windfall 
for this person needing to get some rest here. What is this here? Relationship dynamics. So they may be trying to work out how things may be that plan and planting these seeds here, how this may go for them. I'm working that out. So, and that's their fortune. So if they can get these re relationship dynamics worked out, things can go further for them. Let's see, so that may be a bit of a challenge when it comes to their fortune, but this person's gonna get a windfall um, due to the lifestyle change here. Let's look at what's going on right now. What's going on right now in the North Node for her and for her person? And the combined energy, let's do a little bit of a shovel. All right. And let's have a look at hers. Oh, so. <laughs> so she's matured a bit more with the number six as well, cooperating a bit more with the harmony. Happy that she's getting this offer. So, and this is right now. So in the current, and he's healing still, wanting her to be patient, maybe buying a house for her and him to move into that is closer to parents or moving the parents closer to them. This offer hasn't come in just yet, but she's happy that this is happening, but she needs to be patient because there's some healing still happening here and something to do with the house, maybe having to deal with the parents house, selling the house, or in order for this to come in, maybe he has to move closer to her to be able to give her this option. I don't know if they're really reconciled just yet. The offers are coming in and right now it looks like she'd be really happy to have this offer, but he's asking her to be patient. What's the combined energy here? Ah, there's a main female. So it may be his mother that is um, needing to be moved for parental care. Maybe uh, she may be the one that is getting in between these two. And I feel like if she's not the mother, she may be uh, someone in this person's vicinity that may be causing issues from this going through. Because usually the main female is someone younger, so it could be a sibling that's having an issue with moving mom and dad. Uh, or mom or whatever it could be a sibling that got hurt or is ill so there's some type of relationship dynamic when it comes to family let's look and see what spirit has to say here and this is a reconciliation so let's look at what we have for messages from spirit okay so one for her, one for her person, and then whatever's on the bottom of the deck, we have Beloved One. Okay, Archangel Chamel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So there's guidance here and help from the divine to help with this relationship dynamic to help get them to move forward. There's a different perspective coming in here about equal give and take and remembering who she is here. Maybe from before she was famous. So you are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved. So she needs to remember she is loved by spirit and to be more cooperative towards this equal give and take and maybe have a different perspective about things. This person is trying to get the strength to, I feel like, come out of the cold or come out of poverty. There's some clairvoyance here. Wow. This person is gifted. I'm helping you, your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Aww. They may have a lack of mindset here. So clairvoyance wow so they're getting um sight here 
And they need to be strong enough to get out of a lack type of mentality here. Let's see, what's the lack mentality? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? And that's usually a struggle. Maybe abandonment issues or some type of loss. Ongoing challenges, maybe. And it, and it could be just that it's an ongoing challenge to deal with siblings regarding the parents' care. Let's see, maybe it's the care, the parents that are having issues about moving or, you know what I mean? So this person is clearly waking up, her person, Rose's person. They're clearly waking up. And it just seems like there's ongoing struggles. And I, I feel like it has to really do with this family feud. And maybe it has something to do with her family or his family because about things going on here. Yeah, about investing in something. So it looks like the family's having a hard time with all of this. And you would think that this would be a kind of blessing for them, for them, especially if this person is not in that field of where she's at, like in her industry, but it could be somebody that is, you know, and hmm, let's see what the combined energy is. Well, they definitely see her as a sweetheart. Now let's look at I didn't shuffle these beforehand. Um, well, not, I always do, but not before I ask questions here. So well, what is the different perspective we got here, I wonder? So this is what spirit has um, for them afterwards. Yeah, there's, there's some healing happening here um, from a broken heart. And it looks like those swords are gone and everything's starting to heal. So whatever happened she's healing that with this person this person finds her to be a sweetheart loving nurturing and i feel here everything's going to work out just fine you can see that these two end up getting together and they have their challenges together that's for sure what is the combined energy here passion they have a lot of passion for one another yes archangel hanel Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Wow, that's beautiful. So they're definitely a lot of passion between the two of them, chemistry between the two of them. One wanted to release the ex, but there's so much chemistry. They end up reconciling, and it is a blessing that she is getting. She may have separated from this person, and then things changed. They did the work. They're awakening. There's some struggles, but things turn out really well. I like it for her. So this is what I have for Rose. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe if you'd like to donate, which people have been asking. There's the super thanks, or you can um, go into the description box below. There's a PayPal account there. You can click on that link in the description box and it will take you straight to PayPal and you can donate that way. I also appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch the videos. That is another way of helping the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. All right, Lita.